What's going on YouTube? So, if you watched my previous video, or one of my videos, on the Lorance Elite 5Ti, I talked a little bit about how I wanted to rig up the transducer. Well, um, I figured I would go with this setup here, which is the uh, transducer arm by Ram Mount. Uh, it is a little bit on the pricey side. Uh, this whole setup cost me about $52 plus uh, $15 of shipping, so. But uh, I think it's gonna work out great. Uh, one thing, I'll be able to actually lift the transducer out of the water and store it in case I hit shallow water or uh, some trees or whatever the case is. So now I did go ahead and already assemble everything. Uh, there's nothing really to it. Uh, I'll kind of go over a little bit, but uh, I'll link a uh, video in the description below by Ram that actually show you how to put everything together. So. So this is pretty much all it is. It's a uh, rigid aluminum uh, flexible bar in here. Um, and it's got this piece that attaches to uh, some of the different transducers out there on the market right now. On top of here you have your one inch uh, ram ball or ram socket that you can attach to a one inch uh, ram ball or yak attack. So what we're gonna do now is mount the transducer on here and uh, get it set up on the kayak. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so one thing with the transducer or this bottom portion and the transducer, uh, the holes do not match, okay? So you do have to drill on this piece here. All right, so I did go ahead and take uh, the bottom piece off just to make it easier for drilling. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, the easiest way I think I'm gonna, this is gonna work is uh, taping a piece of paper on here and kind of just poking the holes through and then lining this up on here, marking it, and then uh, drilling it. So let's look for these holes. All right, so Got a couple of holes in here, I uh, kind of misjudged there, but so we got our four holes and so what we're going to do now is take off the piece of paper and attach it to our ram mount here and go ahead and drill our holes. so we got all our holes drilled here and uh, let's mount the transducer on here and see if we got it right okay so that portion's done Make sure we put in, put that back together. There we have it, all mounted up. So let's get it on the kayak. All right guys, so everything is hooked up. Got the transduce, transducer arm here uh, hanging off the side. Uh, not sure what the wiring for right now. I just kind of stuck it there and zip tied it. Uh, eventually you probably try to run it in the hatch or uh, maybe try to fit it in the battery box in here. It's just too big right now to do that. Um, I decided to go with the unit in the middle uh, for right now to save some space along this gear track. Uh, if I do want to switch it to the side, I mean, it's pretty simple. I got the, um, the mount right here, so it'll be pretty easy to switch over. But right now, 
Uh, transducer, pretty happy with it. I kind of try to keep it as close to the boat as possible. But uh, that's this install. If I want to lift this up and get it out of the way, just turn this up here, lift it up, it's out of the way. And then when uh, I'm back in deep, deeper water, I can drop it down, tighten that back up, and it's good to go. So, all right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment below, and uh, tight lines, and I'll catch you guys next time.